to experts of public art process do not believe this is possible. The former director of Percent for Art just explained how a single large-scale monument taxed their resources. How about 12? And PDC said oh, privately po uh, proposed monuments will also go through Percent for Art now? How is any of this possible? It is irresponsible for this committee not to press further on how this new initiative is possible. Percent for Art has invited people to speak about past successes and the capability of staff, but no one has testified how this specific program, which is distinct from the com commissions in the past, can achieve this project on this scale. We have entered the twilight zone, and there's no roadmap, and there's no oversight. Three staff at Percent for Art, this is absurd. It's stressing all agencies to the breaking point, PDC and Parks, as well as PDC. The root of the scandal is, one, ignoring and neglecting the city advisory councils, and two, a rushed, under-resourced process that has led to rash and sloppy decisions that may lead to inferior works and ill-considered locations. There are several problems. First, weak responsiveness to community sentiment in organically driven projects. Long before the monument initiative, there were existing public art initiatives for Tito Puente, Brooklyn, abolitionism for the literary heritage of Little Syria. These initiatives have developed organically, but they're now at the back of the list, and they probably may not be completed for three, four, or five years, and nobody knows how quickly any of these initiatives are going to be completed with dates of two or three years. Second, um, the second is that we marginalize the Blue Ribbon Commissions. We have lots of testimony from people from the public art program and from other artists, but we don't have any of the members of those 40, those the 18-member women uh, commission on advising the women's selection, who uh, Harriet Sinead who, uh, the uh, CUNY professor who was on the commission said it was a charade. They, were, they recommended group monuments, and those recommendations were overruled. And the, the people on the Mayor's Monument Commission also said that their recommendations were ignored, that the final decisions were only only took place in 15 minutes at the end of the third meeting. So they, they didn't feel they had any agency. The decisions were made by political leadership. There's no community involvement, and there needs to be more oversight. Third, we're neglecting community knowledge and sentiment in the selection of these monuments. These can be seen in these location problems. That, that my colleague raised, that Elizabeth Jennings' Grand Central, Grand Central Station makes no sense, Billy Holiday, which he didn't get into, there are huge sentiment in Addisley Park to cite that in Queens, where uh, there, there was a huge jazz move. Why do it at Queensboro Hall? Why didn't anybody talk to the people of Queens before we did this? This is what this committee needs to do, have a rigorous oversight into these specific siting decisions, explain why they were occurred, and then we can sort this out. The, this monument initiative is not going to be solved within the next year or two. There's 12 months monuments in the process. Let's slow it down and let's do them all properly. Let's scrutinize it, do it properly, engage the community. Thank you.